Hey everyone, Jeff here again for Rhinoco Technology. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating perimeter protection. Now, perimeter protection is an AI based function which is available on VIP Vision AI based network video recorders and AI based cameras that allows you to extend uh, intelligent video surveillance or IVS functions such as tripwire and intrusion detection. Now, how are we extending them? Well, essentially um, on, on previous versions of IVS, we've looked for blobs crossing lines in tripwire or blobs entering or leaving areas in intrusion detection. Now that's great and it works quite well, but it's not particularly smart in the sense that we don't know what's entering or leaving that box. It could be a, a person, a vehicle, something like that, but it could also be a moth flying in front of the camera, for instance, or maybe water running down a driveway or running down uh, a road or something like that. It would be much smarter if we could actually look at the objects that are entering that box or crossing that line and then determine based off that what we want to act, how we want to act on that. So. The AI functions of these recorders actually allow us to do that. So now not only can we um, watch a line cross, a, watch, watch a blob cross a line, we can also say, hey, is that a person crossing a line? Is that a vehicle crossing a line? Is that neither of those things crossing that line? And we can choose based off that how we want to um, trigger our events and things like that. So what do you actually need to achieve these functions? Now you can use AI based network video recorders such as these two here, the MVR16 Pro I and MVR32 Pro 16P-I, um, with standard cameras. So you don't necessarily need AI-based cameras for this, these functions to, to work. If you want to enhance your existing installation, you can do so just by upgrading the recorder. Alternatively, um, if you have a specific location or you, maybe you're doing a new installation, um, you can actually use AI-based network video cameras or IP cameras, I should say to perform the same functions. Now, um, you will need a, a modern recorder um, with the latest firmware in order to get this, these functions to work, but you don't necessarily need to replace the recorder, just like you don't necessarily need to replace the cameras to get these functions. Okay, so now I'm just gonna jump across to a recorder and I'm gonna demonstrate how this all works. So this is the recorder that we're gonna be demonstrating this on here, and this is a 16 channel AI based network video recorder. Um, so we could use a standard camera, but in this case, I'm also using an AI based camera. Now, as I mentioned before, you don't necessarily need to have both an AI based recorder and an AI based camera, but this will work just as well. So this is the camera that I wanna set up. Now I'm gonna set up a, an intrusion box over here and I'm going to trigger based off vehicles, okay? So I'm gonna only trigger based off vehicles entering that box. So I'm going to right click, select main menu. I'm going to log in to the recorder and then I'm going to select AI. Now within AI, the first thing I need to do is I need to set up my smart plan for this camera. Okay, so I need to select the camera that I wanna use. So in this, select, this case, I'm selecting D1 or channel one and I'm gonna select IVS. Okay, so not face detection and not people counting, but IVS, which is this light bulb here and I'm gonna apply that change. Now that I've done that, the recorder or the camera in this situation is actually going to function for IVS features, which is what I want to do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is select IVS. Note, without turning on smart plan, anything you change in IVS will not change. Nothing will function. So make sure that that's turned on. Now I'm gonna do AI by camera since my camera supports it, but you could also do AI by device, i.e. the NVR. Okay, but I'm gonna do it by the camera. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm going to select add. And I'm gonna change this to an intrusion rule. Okay, but tripwire or intrusion would work just fine. And I'm gonna select draw. Now this is much the same as any previous time that you've set up IVS. Okay, so we have some other videos on here showing how to do um, functions on PTZ cameras and things like that based off IVS. But in this situation, we're setting up perimeter protection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select I'm gonna name my rule. I'm just gonna leave it as rule one. I'm gonna select any time a device or any time a, a vehicle appears or crosses these lines, or any time a blob appears or crosses these lines, and I'm gonna filter based off AI. So you see my AI recognition section down the bottom here. Now my effective targets, it's cut off there, but essentially it says effective target. OK, 
okay, are people or vehicles. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this set up for people and vehicles, and I'm going to set it, I'm gonna leave those two together as they are, and I'm going to draw the box, okay? So you wanna make sure that it covers the entire vehicle or person that's gonna cross here so that we aren't mistaking people for other things or vehicles for other things. And I'm gonna select OK. And I'm gonna apply those changes. And I'm gonna right click to exit. Now, as you can see, we actually have a box here and it's actually set up for intrusion detection and it's only gonna trigger on vehicles and people. So if I have bugs or anything else flying around in here, maybe I have water that sort of is flowing down the driveway or something like that, I'm not gonna trigger on that. I'm not gonna trigger on animals, I'm only gonna trigger based off vehicles and people. And as you can see there, we've triggered off a vehicle and we've triggered off another vehicle, which just so happens to be a push bike, but it's still considered a vehicle, okay? So anything, well, we consider vehicles um, to be uh, basically trucks, cars, bikes, anything that's allowed on a road, let's say. Um, and people obviously is just people walking, okay? So if, if there's somebody that it sees on a vehicle, like on a bike or on a, on a, in a car or something like that, it's gonna trigger based off the vehicle and not based off the person. But anyway, you can see that we've had two triggers there. Now, what I could actually do would be to bring up my, my AI bar here. Um, and as people actually come through, as cars and objects come through, they will actually show up in this AI bar here. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for another vehicle to pass through, another vehicle or another person to pass through, and then we'll see the result in the AI bar. Okay, so we have some people approaching on the left of the screen there, and there you go, we've detected people crossing the line. And you can actually see that we've actually, uh, our counter at the top here is incremented to show that we've detected two people. Okay, and as they get further out of screen, you'll note that they're no longer detected. And we'll just wait for a vehicle to come back through so that I can show you that there. There you go, we've detected the vehicle driving through. So we actually detected that twice because I had it set up to trigger on appearing and crossing, but you can actually see the vehicle here. Now in this AI bar, obviously it's giving us snapshots of the events, but what we might want to do is actually double click on this to view the event. So that's, that's the vehicle just about to come into shot. There you go. You can see the vehicle coming through. And if I right click, I can exit out of there and I can do the same thing for the people. So if I double click on this event down the bottom here and click play, you'll note that we have our pre time and then you'll see when these people enter the area. And there you go. So I'm gonna right click again, just exit. Now, one other thing we might wanna actually do here is we may wanna actually view playback for these events because uh, what's gonna happen is eventually that you know, you're gonna get events falling off the bottom of this timeline here and you're not gonna be able to double click them. Maybe you wanna look back in the past um, and we can do that. So if we go to main menu and then we select AI, we can actually come in here and we go to smart search. And from smart search, we can select IVS Okay, not vehicle detection. Okay, vehicle detection is for a, a different style of detection using number plates with specialist cameras. Um, in this situation, we're selecting IVS and we're gonna select, well, we can actually select all events and select Smart Search. And you'll be able to see the different events in here that happened over the time period that we selected. And I can come in here and I can click on the event and you will see shortly the event happens. So there's the car entering the tripwire box or the intrusion detection box. And if I wanted to, I could select these events and I could choose to back them up to a USB stick. Right click to exit and we're back. 
So just to summarize in this video, we've gone over uh, perimeter protection and how it's an extension of our existing IVS or intelligent video surveillance functions of tripwire and intrusion detection and how these uh, AI based extensions in perimeter protection to those two functions can really um, help us narrow down and filter uh, our events. Okay, so we can, we can um, only trigger when we see vehicles or only trigger on people or trigger on both of those things and you know not trigger on water running down a driveway, moths flying in front of the camera, dogs running across the screen, that sort of thing. So yeah, I hope that it's been useful. Um, if you like this video, feel free to like it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you like this information um, and if you'd like further videos like this in the future or feel free to leave a comment down below if there's anything that you uh, would like clarification on regarding this video or any future videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Thank you.